Okay, so I'm going to talk about your chain of command, who, which is who you'll talk to when you have a question, or how you should be following orders from the different people. So, we'll start with the head editors. And these people are the ones who will edit all of the articles before they get sent to muster. They'll look at all of the photos before they get put in the articles to be sent to musters. They're pretty much your boss most of the time. It's important that you understand that they're not trying to be bossy, but that they're trying to make everything work out for you, and that you should be listening to them when they tell you things. Muster's name would be here at the top, except it's really important that you take your questions to your head editor. And if the head editor doesn't know, or if it's something that they think that Muster needs to know, they'll tell them. Tell him. Don't just go to Muster, because chances are he'll forget, or he won't know the answer, and then it'll just not be a good situation. Now we have the photo editors and the writers. The photo editors take pictures from the photographers, and they just crop them, change the filters, or whatever needs to be done to make them look good for the article. The writers are the ones who are going out, getting the interviews done, getting all the information, and writing the articles. This can be anybody. Anybody can be writing an article at any time. And then the writers send their articles after they've revised them themselves to the head editors for final revisions before they get sent to muster. After photo editors, we have the photographers, who could also be the writers at the same time. It all just depends on how things work out. They're the ones going out to events, taking the pictures, making sure they get good pictures, and making sure that they have proof of well, what's going on.